Have you ever felt like animation was too hard for you to learn? Yeah. Sneak number three just, <laughs> just might be the tool for you. Please welcome Lee Wei with Project in Motion. Thanks for the uh, introduction. Do you like motion graphics? Yeah. My dad is an artist, and I want to create an exciting short animation to promote his workshop. I can do this easily with existing tools like Express. But what if I need more control for more complicated effects? Introducing project in motion, which consists of two parts creating the cross motion, followed by adding detailed colors and textures. Let's see how this works. Let's start with this shape, and I want to add some interesting introductory fluid effects. So I can click on this track and use this little guy on the left. So now it's propagating. Uh, let's take a look at the, at the result. So this fluid will be able to blend into any shape I specified. Now, in the next part, I want to morph this picture into this letter. So I can go to the here and specify the letter and the picture as the two keyframes. And let's take a look at the results. So you can see that the picture is gradually morphing into this letter. Oh. If you like, you can have more control. So here we have this pass tool that will allow me to draw some simple passes. So for example, I want this hole to move like this. And maybe this sharp tip of the pen will go like this. And maybe one more. And let's apply the result. All right, so here will be the Final uh, morphine. That's fully under your control. Cool. I can apply similar techniques to the other two letters, A and T, and here will be the final result. Now we have this overall motion. We can add some more details. So this is the video I just created using the first part of Project in Motion. Now I want to create more effects. For here, I can just describe what I want. So maybe let's start with watercolor. That's my father's favorite painting medium. And here is the result. So it will follow the timing and the structure of the video on the left, and also show some watercolor effects. And let's try another painting media, like oil paint. Usually this result will take at least a few minutes to generate, but for the sake of the time, I have already pre-computed them for you. What if you don't want to use a text prompt? We can also use reference image to specify the style we want. So this is a painting that my father did a few years ago. It's a watercolor of a uh, street entrance. So for this one, I don't need even have to describe the prompt. I will just let the picture speak for itself. Right, so let's generate the result. So far, we have seen a 2D input. That's what created by the first part of Project in Motion. We can also try other kinds of input. For example, here, is a 3D video sequence created by After Effects that contains the depths of a scene. And for this one, let's try something interesting, maybe something like splashing. 
Colorful. Pink. And here's the result. Let's give it up for Lee, Project in Motion. That was absolutely amazing. That's so cool. I know. Yeah, you could like talk to it and stuff. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's cool.